How can we identify an atom from another atom? From the scientific experiments that proved an atom consists of subatomic particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons, all atoms can be identified by the number of protons and neutrons they contain. This leads to the concept of atomic number and the mass number presented in this video, giving you some examples for you to understand this topic further. Let's take a look at the periodic table of elements, and let's pick one element. For example, the element gallium. Number 31 represents the atomic number of gallium. This means that every atom of gallium has 31 protons. Therefore, the atomic number is equal to the number of protons in the nucleus of each atom of an element. And for neutral atoms, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. Gallium is neutral, and so, if there are 31 protons, there are also 31 electrons. From this, knowing the number of protons and electrons of an atom, the chemical identity of an atom can be determined. In the universe, every atom that contains 31 protons and 31 electrons are named gallium. There is an accepted way to denote the atomic number and mass number of an atom of an element. Hypothetically, the atomic number is represented by the symbol Z, the atom of an element is represented by the symbol X, and lastly, the mass number of an atom is denoted as symbol A. Now, the gallium atom can be written as follows. This means that 71 is the mass number. The mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons of an atom of an element. Therefore, it is also equal to the atomic number plus the number of neutrons of an atom. All atomic nuclei contain both protons and neutrons, except for the hydrogen atom, which has only one proton and no neutron. Remember that the mass number is equal to the total number of protons and neutrons. Therefore, to find the number of neutrons, it is simply equal to the mass number minus the atomic number or the total number of protons. Gallium in the example has neutrons equal to 71 minus 31, which is equal to 40. Since an element is made up of atoms, these atoms do not all have the same mass. This is because most elements have two or more atoms having the same atomic number but different mass numbers and these are called isotopes. For example, gallium has two naturally occurring isotopes called the gallium 69 and gallium 71. Thank you for staying tuned. Gently hit that like button if you now see the difference between the atomic number and the mass number. Click or tap the screen for more chemistry videos.